Hello everyone, this is Amit. Welcome back. So in this particular video, I'll be sharing you how do we integrate CodeIgniter's Ion Auth library. Ion Auth library is a simple and lightweight authentication library for CodeIgniter framework. Ion Auth has various features that, that comes pre-built. So features like registration, login and logout, forgot password, remember me, change uh, password method and it also focuses on security it also has user groups and it's highly extremely customizable library so without wasting much time let us see how quickly we can integrate this particular code igniters ion auth library so to begin with i have created uh, my virtual host which says code igniter 3 dot local so I'll be first. Firstly, I have downloaded the Code Igniter's latest version, uh, which as of now is Code Igniter 3.1.4. And uh, let's just quickly go to the downloads folder. So this is so these are the uh, and I have also downloaded the Code Igniter's Ion Auth 2. So what what shall we do is let us just copy the whole Code Igniter's 3.1.4 to my three. Codeigniter 3 uh, virtual host directory. So this is done. So let's quickly refresh it just to check out whether I have. Yes, it is. So the Codeigniter is successfully deployed over this particular virtual host. Now I have also cloned this particular repository, which is Ben and Mund's Codeigniter auth repository. I have cloned it and I have downloaded a zip file over in my downloads folder so let us quickly head to that so this is the code igniter ion auth 2 that i have downloaded the second step that you you need to do is you quickly copy the full folder contents and merge it to application directory of your code igniter 3 so this is my code igniter 3 directory so i'll, I'll go to the application folders and without wasting much time i'll simply click on paste and it, it asks that the destination already contains a folder named config and there are various five other directories that are found so I'll say do this for all current items found and I'll say yes so by doing this you know it merges the, uh, the directories which already exists and if the directories didn't exist it creates one so now we have uh, we have dumped the uh, contents of Codeigniter Ion Auth library. So now what next is, let us head to this, this particular Codeigniter 3 local virtual host. Okay, this this is not, I mean this is not uh, breaking up. So let us do one thing, let us configure the base URL and the database. So this, the Codeigniter Ion Auth comes with a predefined uh, SQL you know, commands so you can open this up create a database and then run these commands over there run these uh, SQL statements to that to the corresponding MySQL database which you created so I have created already a ion auth uh, database and I have run the uh, I have run the SQL statements over here so which resulted in creating four tables four different tables one is groups and the other one is login attempts and we have users and we have user groups so let us close this so what shall we do is now we have created the database and exported the sql statements so let us head to application config and then config.php so let us configure the base URL. Let us set the base URL. So this is the base URL. I'll just paste this over here. So let me save it. I'll go back to config and I'll go back to database.php. And here I'm supposed to add the username, password is blank, and the database name. Database name is ion underscore auth. So let me save it. 
so let's head back to the browser see if everything is fine yes this is fine so now let us go to index.php and auth is the controller so let us hit enter here you go we are already logged in and that's the reason it shows me the list of users so let us see what is the logout method let's go to application auth index login and logout is the method so let me just quickly log off so I have logged off so by default as it says in this particular uh, github page the username and password yeah the default username is admin at admin.com and the password is password itself so let us so I have added that you know I have remembered that in my computer so I have entered the admin at admin.com and password is password so as you can see th there are various features you know as I uh, stated before the beginning of this video which is remember me is there I mean there is something called as forgot password as well so let's quickly get logged in so admin at admin.com and password and I'll say login so it's logged in so now I'll hit auth so this is how it shows I mean it shows I'm logged in successfully and uh, it, it shows me the list of users that are currently in the database so this is this is the page to create a new user so this is how you can create let me just create a user so that you know it's it's working fine so I'll say password as admin star one two three admin star one two three let's see cool it got created so this is how uh, we create the user and uh, we can also assign the groups as well for a particular user and we also have a option to create a new user group this is where you create it let's quickly create a user group and let's see it works or not um, I'll say editors editor group and I'll say create so it redirected group created successfully this is the message that it shows up and you can also activate or deactivate a user and you can edit the user and this is where you can assign that particular user group so this is as simple as that and you know it will take uh, five to ten minutes in order to get this configured and up and running so uh, and that's it that's pretty much it and you know it's it's a damn simple thing there is only one controller which is auth and uh, we have ion auth model it extends the CI model and here is where you know all your uh, code related to the database stuff has been mentioned so I, I think this is sufficient for you to for you guys to uh, you know get started so what I'll do is that I'll give a copy of this I mean in the description link you know I'll create the uh, github repository and I'll share the uh, github repository of both you know code igniter uh, latest code igniter which I downloaded which is 3.1.4 and this ionot integrated I'll be committing it in a repository and I'll, sh I'll be sharing the repo URL with you very soon so uh, that will that will find in the description below so I hope uh, this is sufficient and uh, yeah then we can conclude this video let me know if you guys have any issues or if you guys face any issues with this while creating integrating whatever maybe the stuff so uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, please like share and subscribe for my channel for more updates and uh, yeah stay tuned for further updates thanks a lot for watching bye bye